My name is Joe Hinkle. This training video is on controller configuration via the controller's web server. Uh, this web configuration is available on all Hinkle controllers, whether it be a Hingspix Pro or an Easy Lights controller. Uh, it is reached by using a browser and in the browser address bar putting in the IP address that shows at the bottom of the display on your controller. Now I won't get into um, networking. Networking happens to be probably 99% of issues that people are going to have like why can't I just put my controller connect it to the computer and why doesn't it talk? That'll be a different video. What I wanted to share with you is, in my case, my controller currently has this IP address, 192.168.1.82. In order for it to be able to be displayed on my browser's window on my computer, these first three numbers, 192, 168, 1, have to be associated with either a wireless Ethernet connection on the computer or a hardwired. If the IP address on the controller does not match, the first three numbers does not match any of your IP addresses associated with your computer, you will not talk to this controller. Again, there'll be a video. Um, when I get it done, I'll see if I can post it at the bottom of the page talking about networking because that's probably the majority of issues people have. But for this video, we're up, we're talking. Um, this is just a very quick overview. I just wanted to go over the status bar at the top, let you know what's on the configuration page. Then you can come back and watch the specific video that I'll do on each one of these. This is a status. This gives you information like software versions and other such things. Network configuration, we'll talk about network hardwired, whether it's a static IP or a, uh, an IP acquired via DHCP, how to set up your wireless. E131, ARCnet, DDP, this one is very important. There'll be an extensive video on this. This, you need to configure this to map your X lights uh, setup tab. This is how you translate data coming from X lights into the controller. Your output settings. This is the second most important setting. There'll be a complete video on this. Once you've mapped your X lights data coming in via E131, this tells you how to map that data into your specific uh, pixels, into your specific output ports. Miscellaneous, how to set up the FM transmitter. Operating mode, whether you're operating in E131 mode or in standalone mode, which works off an SD card. How to set the time zone. Time zone's important if you're running in standalone mode because you're going to have schedules that need to play at a specific time. Bypass firmware checks, that's mostly used by commercial customers. Testing outputs. It allows you to drive and turn on uh, any of your ports to verify that your pixels are working properly, your red, green, blue are identified properly. Reset, that resets the controller. After any changes have been made in this configuration, they are not implemented until the next reset. This allows you to reset. Debug, debug contains information that's really techie information Primarily, it's for me. Uh, if I need to get on your controller and take a look to see what's going on, it gives me some insight variables of what's happening inside the controller. So that completes this very quick and brief overview of controller configuration on a Hinkle controller.